Hi guys, it's Nella. Foxy Mama 365 back again with the Married to Medicine reunion part 3. Let's dig right into it. So we start off where we left us last week with Cord and Dr. Greg having a conversation with Andy. And Andy's asking them questions, tough questions I thought, and I was like, okay, what do they hope, where are they now? They haven't spoken to each other in what, since June of last year. And where are they? And they exchange pleasantries, it's nice to see each other. Quan looks good, Dr. Greg looks good, and they acknowledge each other. And they go right into the meat of it, and Dred is like, well, really... We haven't lived in the same, we haven't, you haven't been in the bedroom with me for, since 2014. And Quad is thinking to herself, why would you go out and put that out there? And Dr. Greg said, well, that's the truth. And Andy's like, what's going on? You guys are not making out, you're not having sex, what's going on? And Dr. Greg's like, no. He remembers the last time that he had sex was in 2014 after the reunion show. And I'm like, what? We're in 2019. So this must be like, what, three, four years? What's going on? I mean, they, they go on couples trips, they go, they travel together, they live in the same house. What the hell? And you see Quad trying to defend her position, saying, well, he pretty much wasn't getting it up. <sighs> it's too much, guys. We really don't need all these details. Uh, maybe they would have probably done good with... So, but they were doing therapy, group therapy with other families. Didn't they ask them any of those questions? Ugh, I guess it's just, it's too much. And then you have Quad saying, oh, wow, uh, Greg couldn't get it up with her. And Dr. Dr. Greg saying, oh, well, he's so stressed out at work. He was working three jobs. But even with that, he still was trying to provide as best he could for her, you know, going on trips, giving her great gifts and, you know, making, getting her a house. <sighs> Dear me, help. Fix it, Jesus. <sighs> much and then they now go on to the abuse and Quad is saying Greg you literally dragged me and then Dr. Greg is saying you pulled a knife at me the police was called it was a lot it was just a lot apparently this relationship has been toxic for a while and it's surprising that their friends didn't even know that there was abuse going on in the relationship so pretty much, I think Quad kind of kept it to herself. And she's also accusing Dr. Greg of cheating and he's denying it. Apparently they're still in the divorce process. So everybody's kind of trying to hide their cards and, you know, it is what it is. Well, I wish them all the best. Moving right along, we see Quad saying that she's not dating, but that apparently Dr. Greg is dating already. And Dr. Greg is saying no. And Quad is saying, oh, I saw you at the nightclub. You were dancing with another woman in front of me. And then you hear the friends in the background saying, guys, you guys were already separated. So just own it if it did happen that you were with other people. We really don't know who was dating who and if that really was the case. But I guess they had separated at that point. But I don't know. Fix it, Jesus. And then we now move on to the physical abuse. And Dr. Greg is saying Quad herself was violent and she was saying Dr. Greg was violent. It's a... Uh, who can... Who is trying to get the upper hand in the divorce? And it's kind of sad, you know. It's kind of sad, you know. When you see two people that loved each other having to air... I mean, they are on the show for this, but... It's sad. It's just sad to watch, you know? And also, I've always wondered, did they, from the onset, agree to not have kids? Because I know Dr. Greg has, oh, Greg has always said he wanted kids with, to with Toya. And Toya was saying, oh, she, no, no, I'm sorry, did I say Toya? Quad. And Quad has always said, no, she wasn't ready, that she, she didn't think she was ready, and Dr. Greg wasn't taking the marriage, that he needed to fix the marriage first. And that's why I always tell people that people, when, before you do decide to get married and tie the knot, you need to have all these kind of conversations. Do you want kids? How do you want your life to be? How do you want to raise the kids? You know, what kind of setting, you know? Those are stuff that we need to discuss while we're courting so you don't get into the marriage and then now figure out, oh, I want kids. I want the dog, you know? So just, you know, have that discussion before you actually get married. 
Then we now we call the group back and then the group is now analyzing that situation. Dr. Jackie thinks that they should, you know, pretty much just be friends and just try to get some closure and just remain friends if that is possible. Dr. Contessa said, well, she never knew there was any kind of abuse. I don't know how long she's known Quad, but she said she never knew and that if she did know, she wouldn't have encouraged, you know, the relationship, I guess. And then Mariah got struck me. Mariah said, oh, he never said anything about hitting her. And I'm thinking, hello. They both fessed up to being physically abusive. Why is Mariah, you know, so intent on, and Toya as well, so intent on saying, no, that didn't happen. If a woman has said this is her truth and the man has also said, hey, this happened, we had to call the police in. It, it, it kind of felt, why are you so adamant about and believing what she has said or what, you know? Are you that angry at Quad that you refuse to believe her truth? That Andy even had to come in and chip in and say, hey, they both confessed to actually doing that. So I just thought Mariah didn't need to try to take away the truth if that was the truth. But anyway, so they're defending a lot of stuff like Henley Heavenly said, Dr. Heavenly says, that does just not make any sense and then we now have court come back into the group and daddy is saying oh apparently he doesn't think court has said everything she wanted to say and i think when court went out and was with the other ladies dr jackie and dr heavenly i think she said the funny thing was she still loved greg you know hard as that might seem to believe she still loved him well i guess and that's really okay because you guys lived together for what, six, seven years of marriage? So it's still okay to love him, but you're probably just not compatible because both of you have different, you see yourselves differently. Maybe when you were much younger, it seemed like a good idea to be together, but I think you, they've maybe outgrown each other. And it's okay to still have some love for each other. That's still pretty much okay, you know? So Jackie just wishes them to be happy, healthy, and all of that. <laughs> then we give Andy some vital honey. Thank you. Andy, proceed with caution. That's all I'm going to say. Good luck with that. So Dr. Jackie and then the guys come out again and they're talking about Toya and the fact that Toya is a little cheap with her gift because she got a diamond ring from her husband and she gave him Groupon coupons or something no coupons not groupon coupons and sex coupons hmm. and i'm like okay if that's what she wants and she's going back and forth with contessa saying contessa dr contessa doesn't think that's a proper gift she's like um toya says well my pussy is expensive or my pussy is you know so good luck with them and then we go to aiden and Cecile not walking things out and we also see Mariah Mariah talking and saying oh it looks like Dr. Aiden wants to leave Atlanta and she's not willing to leave Atlanta well we'll see moving right along can anyone tell me why Dr. Contessa and Toya are fighting why it always seems that the season you bring a friend into the group that's very season the two the, those, the friendship always blows up we've seen this with uh, in the real housewives of new jersey we've seen this with the real housewives of i think it was atlanta yeah when you bring a friend in and then suddenly the two friends suddenly start fighting and i think in my opinion that what it is is toya just can't get over the fact that dr contessa was saying oh we're celebrating a party two seasons ago for being financially responsible. It was, I mean, it was a shady dig, but it wasn't all that. I, but I think Toya was so upset about that. And she just was like, why are you, you know, talking about my finance? And I think for Toya, talking about her finan finances is um, a sore topic. Yeah, I guess everybody has their sore point. Some people might be talking about their relationship. Some people might be talking about the cheating spouse. But for Toya, I think talking about her finances being that she was, I think two seasons ago, she was in debt to about $170,000 and they crawled their way out of it. Eugene had to do a lot of work and 
Toya had to cut back. And Toya says, oh, now we're working on the budget. We have some some nest eggs kept away for the kids' school. And the house is also an investment. The house is almost done. And she did not have to fall, you know, not have her wine cellar. She could still keep that. She's got a two-story bedroom, uh, two-story dress, whatever. Good for her. If it works for her, good for her. Then we move on to the phone call at Toya's party. We see Toya, they show a flashback where Toya is having a party and she's thanking everybody for coming. She doesn't include Dr. Contessa and her husband, Dr. Contessa's husband says, hey, sorry my wife can't be here because uh, that her dad is ill. And Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly gets Toya, gets Dr. Contessa on the phone. And we see Toya going in on her on the phone and she's doing it on speakerphone. Now, when we, she's asked about why she did that, you know, on speakerphone, so everybody, it was kind of embarrassing. She's saying, oh, it was because Dr. Heavenly was being messy by putting her on. No, you have to take ownership. You said those things. Dr. Heavenly didn't put those words in your mouth. You have to be responsible for what you said. You didn't need to go there. You could just have said, oh, I'm sad that you're not here. I wish you were here. Take care of your dad. We'll speak later. You know, and then maybe rag her another time. But you cannot blame anyone but yourself, Toya, for the comments you made there and then. Moving on, everyone's... Dr. Contessa was really focused on the fact that she thought Toya hit her intentionally. But everyone else has said, no, we didn't think she did. And we see them going back and forth. Honestly, this whole friendship should just end it. We, we don't really care about why you guys are fighting anymore. Good luck. I mean, I don't care. Do you guys? No, I ain't got... Good luck, guys. And then we go back to the... Yeah, pretty much. They now... They're just literally going back and forth like kids. You're like, oh... Why are you on the show? Oh, you don't have any control over the show. Why can't I be... Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to rate. Be sure to comment. And be sure to like. Thank you. Have fun.